Hello everybody, Purge here. Uh, today I just want to uh, add a couple more tips and tricks to using Paint.net in uh, relation to doing pixel art uh, with Minecraft specifically. Uh, you can also use this information uh, with other applications, I'm sure. Um, even if you're just trying to, you know, figure out how to use this program itself or other similar programs such as maybe Photoshop or GIMP or something like that in order to do, you know, learn something about those programs. Now, uh, there's two major things that I really want to uh, stress here and that is um, file types and I can remember the other one off the top of my head. Uh, file types, yeah. So uh, the ma the biggest thing I really want to go over right now is file types, uh, and why saving or why they're why the different file types, why it's important to know the difference between the different file types. All right. So first of all, let's go in here and uh, let's set my colors up, and I'm going to do some quick line work here, um, similar similar to my previous video. Um, I'm just going to do some real quick line work here just so that you can uh, kind of get a general idea of what I'm doing here. This is in absolutely no way, shape, or form very good at all. Uh, this is absolutely sloppy, but that's okay. It will serve its intended purpose, which is to show the lines. Now, Let's leave it at that and then come over here and do a little bit. Alright, so let's uh sleep let's, let's leave it at this. Alright. And uh, so as you can see that was very, very sloppy, but that's some line that's some quick line work um within this picture. So if we take that off and zoom it back out there you can see okay well there's lines for her fingers if that were actually correct um, now this is a JPEG image so if you go to save this image um, it's gonna try and save it as a JPEG when you do save it as a JPEG uh, I've already got one uh, this is my second attempt at recording this video um, if, you've, I, I, if you save it as a JPEG I'll show you what happens alright let's say we save it and um, Say you need to, I don't know, shut down your computer for the night. So the next time you open up this uh, file in paint.net, you're going to see this. So let's turn the grid lines back on and everything. You're going to you're gonna zoom back in, and this is what you're going to see. Um, everything you just did is now all blurred. It's bleeding into other things. Uh, is there's just this one giant mass here where you can't see anything all right you do not want to use save your images as a JPEG file if you can avoid it in any way shape or form you do not want to do it because okay you can kinda tell if you look here okay well uh, looks like this was the line and this was the line and then what in the hell do we have here this is just a giant blob that we can't discern anything from because, I mean, the, most of this you can tell kind of, okay, well, this is a line, this is a line. You know, you can kind of tell it, but when you've got a bunch of little details in there, like right here, no, you don't want that. That's a no-no. So, you do not want to save it as a JPEG. Instead, what you're going to want to do is you're going to try and save this, right? Because you want to be able to see this next time you open it up. If you can't see it, and it's not clear to you when you open it up, then it's worthless to you. Doing the line work is not going to do you any good whatsoever. So, how do we get around this? Very, very simply. We do it like this. Don't save it as a JPEG. When you go to Save As, all right, you save it as whatever you want the file name to be. Come down here and save it as a PNG. Uh, you can probably use bitmaps, BMPs, um, maybe some other image types will work. I don't know. I know PNGs work. That's what I've been using that's uh, ones that I know for a fact will work so save it as a PNG uh, as you can see I already have another one here so I'm not gonna bother saving it but uh, you can see alright say next time you, you close out the image right 
and then you go to uh, open it back up the next day and we've got this is what you're gonna see when you open it back up if you save it as a PNG it's there it's clear concise mind you this isn't the exact same uh, that I did you know just a second ago. obviously you can see the line work is slightly is different here but this PNG file that I just opened up, it saved it all. There's no color bleeding. It's not um, blurred. It, it, the detail is just as you left it when you saved it. All right, that's very important. You're going to want to do that if you're not able to keep the program open while you're working on the picture. All right, so that's the main thing I really wanted to go over with this um, in Paint.net. Uh, just a little thing that I picked up on while I was doing my pixel art. Um, I, I'll show you a, a more, um, I'll show you a different example here. All right, this is my Shauna pixel art uh, that I just finished. Uh, you can see a video for it uh, on my channel if you look for it. Um, this was the original file I had, right? Uh, I did all this line work with it, and I saved it as a JPEG. Well, I didn't work on it for a couple months, uh, and when I went to open it back up, this is what I saw. Everything had bled. It was all, you know, like in here, you can barely tell what the heck's going on here. Um, you can see it, this is gray. You can't even tell what's going on here, and all through here is all confusing, and yeah, it, it got real. It was bad, all right? This is how I learned my lesson, all right? So the way I... I, I I looked at this and I said, "There is no way I am going to redo all this line work. It's not happening. It wasn't I wasn't going to do it. Not happening." So, what did I do? Uh, here's this is just another quick tip here. Uh, there are ways around this bleeding if you have done this. If uh, there are ways around it, uh, when you you get down into this detail where it's all a giant mass, you're screwed. You're just going to have to redo it and guess and hope it's right. Okay, have fun with that. Now. Uh, with the other stuff, like you can see up here, you can tell pretty easily where the lines are, where they start, where they end, you know, all that stuff. You can tell it with, you know, fairly reasonably easy. So how are you going to figure this out uh, to make it easier for yourself? Because, yeah, it does still bleed. It's not clear and concise like it should be. Well, again, if you save it as a JPEG, you're just going to get the bleeding again. So if you save it, the already JPEG image, if you just save it as a PNG, right it won't bleed any farther it will not revert the changes but it will not bleed it anymore so what will happen is you can come in here and you can do little things all right like uh, if you look over here look, you'll see I marked these all right I marked them where okay well the line starts here it ends here starts here ends here starts here you know I, I see okay this is a correct line correct line correct line correct line that's a correct line all this right here whoops that's green uh, all this right here this should be a shading line this should be a green line all right it's there I I already knew that I had already thankfully with this picture I had already done all the line work which is all the green stuff I hadn't done the shading yet except for this stuff down here all this stuff down here I'd already done um, but like all the, the the hair stuff here I hadn't done um, so looking at all that, like this right here, I wouldn't have known what was going on here with the with the gray line if I hadn't already had the line work done and gone. Okay, let me compare this, which is saying I'm on uh, x equals 316, and go. Oh, okay, that's my line, which means over here is the shadow because I know it continues from here, and then down into here. So there are ways that you can do this. Um, you can just mark the lines like this, like I did here. Or if you really want to get creative with it, uh, I adapted or I, I kind of created this method as I went along. Um, you can get let me turn on the grid line so you can see. Uh, you can devise a way to determine at a single glance what just exactly how big the line is, right? All right. So if you look over here, this over here is where I really started to develop it. Um, so you'll see, this is three lines, I just put one in the middle. Or three pixels, so I put one in the middle. For twos, I can look at that and go, that's a two. I don't care. I did the same thing with three, but I decided to uh, start with threes. Four, I just put one on either end, either end, either end. This is five. One, two, three, four, and a single block in the middle. 
uh, again with the four and the three. And this one here is a six. Now what I did with the six is I did one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see I've got one on each end and then two in the center. So two, three, four, five, and six. That's how I did the six. Seven I did similar to the five, and I just put one in the middle. I can easily see that there's three blocks on either side, and I can count seven out of that. Easy. Seven here again. With these really, really long lines, for the most part, I didn't bother with them because they're so long that I can just go, it starts at y equals 51 and ends at y equals 80, and I just do it that way instead. That is just easier for me. You can try going through and doing it like I did over here, uh, where I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and made a mark. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, made a mark. 11, 12, 13, 14. So I can look at this and go, okay, 5, 10, 4, 14 blocks, and I can place it like that. That's how I did the big ones. Um, I did it again over here. This is 5, 10, 14. This is 11, because it's got that extra one on the end. This is 10. You know, that's how I did that. Um, for 7, or for 8, rather, I did 2, 4, 6, and then uh, 2 in the center, kind of like I did with um, uh, with the 6. With the 9, I did the same thing I did with the 3 and the 5 and the 7. I put the block in the middle, and I can see, okay, there's four on each side. For me, my eyes, I can look at four blocks and say that's, or four pixels and say that's four pixels. All right, no questions about it. That's four. It's not five. It's not 12. It's not 47. It's four. I can see that, so I can go, okay, it's four. That's four. That makes nine. Simple. Um, mind you, you don't have, now, uh, you do not have to wait for everything to bleed in order to do something like that. You could take, you know, another color, like, say, for instance, let's do blue, and you can just, you can do this yourself, you know, if you if it's really going to help you, especially if you uh, don't have multiple screens, this might help you. Because um, at just a glance, you can tell, you know, especially with the longer lines, just what is what. Whoops. Uh, you, you can just look at it, you know, and say, okay, well, this is four. That's five. That's long. <laughs> that's eight. That's nine. That's five, etc. You can just go through and you can do that. Uh, you don't have to wait until, you know, it bleeds or anything like that. All right, uh, those are actually, that was the second tip that I wanted to mention is the the marking the lines so that you can more easily see it. So uh, those are the two tips that I really wanted to tell you guys about. Um, uh, for a more in-depth, detailed um, video on using this program, Paint.net, uh, for making pixel art in Minecraft, uh, you, can, you can look at uh, the previous video, it's called uh, using paint.net or something like that. Uh, there's a link to it at the top left of the screen. Uh, it's in the blue bubble. All you gotta do is you click that little note and it'll take you to that video. All right, so uh, thank you guys for watching. If you do want more videos like this, instructional videos uh, on like how to use paint.net or more instructional pixel art videos in general, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I am more than happy to make more videos like this. Uh, I actually am making this video particularly um, because uh, these are just some more things that just I you know I dealt with in deal in you know finishing up Shauna when I was uh, finishing her up the other day, and I just felt you know, you guys should know these things. So, uh, if you want more videos, please, like I said, comment below or subscribe, uh, because I do come out with videos, a lot of different kinds of videos, uh, rather frequently. Uh, so please do, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, uh, I hope to see, I hope to hear from you guys. Hope to see you back here again. This is Purge, signing off.